I apologize for my senior dog who keeps barking. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna launch a quick poll to see if you've been, uh, you've attended before, where you're located. And I look forward to receiving your answers. And then I'm gonna introduce you to lovely Crystal. Hmm. Uh, I guess another. All right, thank you very much. So if you have any questions along the way, you can type it in the chat because I will be moderating. Uh, Crystal will also, um, I can read them out to her and she can answer. And also you can hang on a little bit after if Crystal, if we can allow some time for a question and answer period. So I'm gonna spotlight video, Crystal Hardy. I'm so excited and proud to have her a part of this workshop today. And I will spotlight video you. Thank you so much, Chimi Gwich. So first off, I'll introduce myself and I'm gonna just um, click this off so I don't get too distracted here. Um, so thank you so much for having me, Chimi Gwich. Zhongwei Venise Kwe Nishnakaz. So that means uh, I'm Sounding Thunderbird Woman, and I'm from Rocky Bay First Nation, which is uh, about an hour and a bit uh, drive from Thunder Bay, Ontario. And that's where I'm coming from today is in Thunder Bay. And I'm from the Bear Clan, and uh, I'm really excited to be here. And uh, my English name is Crystal Hardy. Um, I've got a very varied background. Um, by profession, I am a nurse practitioner, and uh, I'm also uh, interested in media representation of Indigenous people. And uh, what I use um, art as ceremony and painting as ceremony is uh, part of my own healing journey. So um, I do have uh, complex PTSD, so uh, um, post-traumatic stress disorder. And um, complex PTSD is a little bit different um, uh, then the, I guess, I don't want to say the average PTSD because that is a very significant diagnosis, but uh, complex PTSD is um, when someone has had uh, prolonged um, abuses in their childhood in particular. And um, so part of that uh, process for me has been um, leaning into my spiritual practice. And uh, luckily, um, art therapy has been really helpful in my healing journey. So I was first introduced to um, painting as a spiritual practice by Angela Golette. And so I will uh, link uh, in this later when we get into the painting. So you can kind of check out her website because she does offer a series that you can click on right away and you can have virtual access to it. Because um, normally what I do with my sessions, I only do do like a one or two sessions on a painting because um, I'll explain to you in a second what that looks like. But I also have a friend, uh, Cynthia Louise, if you go to her website, um, she does uh, painting as a spiritual practice as well, where there's a virtual option. So um, for me, this has been a really um, important process in my healing. So um, have, having grown up with significant traumas, uh, I am a survivor of, of childhood sexual abuse. Um, physical abuse, emotional abuse. My mother is one of the missing and murdered Indigenous women in Canada, and my brother was also murdered. So um, I've had a hard time sort of sometimes reconciling why, why all these things are happening and what, um, you know, what it means in my life. And uh, so today I've decided to do this workshop to share with you uh, a practice that you can use whatever in whatever capacity you like. And it's really not about what happens at the end. Um, it's about the process you go through. So I will let you know that um, in a practice like this, you might have feelings that come up and emotions that come up um, unexpectedly or expectedly. So just giving yourself some time and space after this workshop to be able to sit and journal, um, maybe cry, have a walk outside, that kind of thing. Do the things that make you feel good and surround yourself with the people that make you feel good. 
um, because it is so important that we uh, are going inward and, and touching our hearts and finding out, you know, what needs to be healed in there. And uh, for myself, there's a lot of healing that needs to happen because I've been hurt a lot of times in my life. And I think we've all suffered, you know, losses and traumas. And that's uh, a big part of our lives is learning that we can overcome those things. And as much as we get knocked down, we just, you know, got to keep having faith in getting up. So for me, spiritual practice is so important. And, um, you know, coming from a history of colonization, you know, we talked about at the very beginning, you know, we had a land acknowledgement and why that is so important is really acknowledging that, you know, there are things in our history that we still have to work through. And um, I think it's also, we can think about that as sort of a microcosm in ourselves. So where we can't have reconciliation or forgiveness or moving forward before having the truth, right? That's why truth is before reconciliation. In our, our country, we are really in a phase of still truth telling and there's a lot of truths that are hard to feel and there's hard to kind of own up to and go, well, where do we go from here, right? And so we're kind of looking at that opportunity in ourselves. So what parts in ourselves, like the shadow parts of ourselves or the, the things that we don't feel good about or those yucky emotions we get or like when we get jealous of people or we get angry with people or we feel really sad is to know that those are all normal emotions, um, but we have to think of a healthy way to deal with them. And so for me, art therapy has been a really big piece of this. So um, <clears throat> before I start any practice, um, I like to really ground myself. So um, what that means to me is like turning off all my electronics and things like that, which we obviously can't do here, um, but um, very intentionally being in the moment. So as we go through today, um, I'm hoping that you can give yourself some space that you won't be interrupted by things. And if you are, that's okay, you know, letting it come in and go and, and just letting it be. And I am aware of the time that we have, but I am willing to stay after um, because, you know, typically within an hour, you, you might, it might not be enough time for you to kind of work through it. And that's great. And that's okay. You just keep doing it. And if it's quicker, that's fine too. So it's really about releasing judgment about what goes on the page or on the canvas um, and not judging what you what it looks like, which is often what we do, right? We have a very harsh inner critic. And for myself with complex PTSD, the inner critic is very loud and, and, and very like very harsh and vicious. So for me, this process is very healing. So I do start out um, by doing a smudge. So um, I do have a smudge little bundle here that uh, it, it has um, some cedar in it. It has, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, some sweet grass. So, in my culture and in many indigenous cultures, there's different rituals that people use for smudging. So for this, I'm just using um, just a smudge bundle, but um, sometimes I just use um, different pieces of like cedar itself, that sort of thing. So the purpose of this is to help ground ourselves. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it helps purify our thoughts. And so when I do a smudge, I I, you know, try to clear the thoughts over my head. So like what well, all my thoughts that are maybe not the best thoughts, you know, I cleanse my eyes. So like I see the truth, I cleanse my mouth. So that I speak the truth. And that also goes into my throat. I do it to my ears because I want to hear the truth um, and into my heart and so on and so forth. So I my whole body. Sorry, was there a question? Okay, keep going. I think they came in and they didn't know they were muted. Okay, no problem. Okay, and so what I do with that then is sort of set that intention that um, I want to be cleansed of all of the negative energy, all of the negative thoughts, the self-doubt, all of that kind of thing. And you don't necessarily have to smudge if that's not something that you do, but uh, you might want to just think about um, rubbing your hands together and, um, you know, making that friction, you feel that energy in there and then just envisioning it like white light. And just like you feel it as you rub your hands together, the white light growing and growing. And as you pull your hands apart, you can feel that energy. So just imagine that energy washing over you. So also I smudge the canvas because I want to, you know, clear it of any negative energy because what I'm asking from the canvas is to send me messages. So that's why it's a spiritual practice. I'm asking creator, my spirit guides, my higher self, the universe, whatever message needs to come out to me. So sometimes it'll be a word that I'll write on the canvas. 
Other times um, I'll just sit in my meditation as I'm smudging and I'll think, oh, I need an answer to this question or just show me what I need to know today. And, um, and then I'll just sort of not judge it and, uh, and I'll just show you the process in a minute. But I want to smudge this as well. Um, because, you know, everything we in the world has energy and uh, we're all connected in that way. And so every person that's touched this canvas has put their energy into it, whether it's they had a bad day or not, or maybe they were stocking the shelves and, uh, you know, they were just like, whatever. Or it was someone that was like, oh, I want to make sure none of these canvases get, you know, ruined. And so, again, being very intentional about what you're working with. <clears throat> so I'm going to put our smudge down here. So... The next step too is I, I tend to light a candle because I and you can just use any candle, um, but just to sort of again ground me and go okay well I have fire energy I have water in my cup you know we we have our water so we can can see this is well used <laughs> um, so we can dip our brushes in there um, when I feel something like this I feel like this is like the earth and like I'm using my thoughts as well <clears throat> so we have all of the four elements together. So before I started today, I was really thinking that I was getting a bit anxious about it. And I said, well, what am I going to do? And what if it doesn't work? And creator was like, it's going to be fine. Just do it the way you normally do it. And, and it's going to be fine. So, you know, letting myself just trust and go, I don't have to judge. So the word that kept coming up for me today that I wanted to meditate on was the word growth. So um, as I thought about that word, sometimes what I often do is, is pull something like um, animal medicine cards, which are like oracle cards that will show, um, you know, different animals. And what I will do is I'll pull a card before we get started to share with everyone um, and read the message out because it might be something that resonates with you or something you needed to hear. And um, animal medicine is really important to me because I feel very connected to nature, to animals. Uh, I do meditative walking, all of that kind of thing. So when I can't do that, I have a canvas that I can get those messages from. So if you were able to see sort of on, maybe on the website or on my social media, um, you would have been able to kind of see uh, the process that it kind of goes through. But essentially today, as you get yourself ready, um, let yourself to just be free to grab what other, whatever color you want, whatever brush you want. If you want to use your fingers, do that. If you want to mix colors, there's no rules here. Um, use any paints you want. I'm going to show you what I'm using today, but maybe you can start getting yourself set up before we start painting. I'll get us sort of grounded though. But um, so what I'm using today, um, I, I like to make um, everything very accessible. Uh, of course, like the, the higher quality paints you buy, the, the final product will look different. Um, but I like to kind of experiment with different types of paints, different types, types of brushes. And a lot of times I get things at discount stores or things like that, because I feel like there's energy within those paints and in those mediums that that might give me a different idea. So something that I really work with a lot is crayons, which you know, people think are for children, but I think that's also a really important way to, to, to heal our inner child is to just like, remember when you had crayons, you can just like, <sighs> so sometimes when I'm journaling in the morning, this is part of my morning practice is artist ceremony and going, okay, what do I need to heal? What do I need to release? What do I need to know? And when I can't set up a canvas, I grab just crayons and I just kind of scribble and like, they're very inexpensive. You can break them. They're kind of remind me a bit of oil pastels in that way, but uh, again, less expensive. And it's really interesting what comes out. So um, on the poster for this class, uh, this workshop, it uh, what came up for me, I was really feeling um, really sad. And, and with my complex PTSD, often I get in bouts of very low and sad moods where I feel like, you know, I lose like the color in the world. So I think it's so important that I reach for colors and I, I feel like there's beauty in little things, you know? Um, and so I was feeling very like, I just said, what do I need right now? And so I just started grabbing the color. So I grabbed a couple of shades of blue and I started doing the painting. And then what came out, I was like, oh my gosh, that's a whale. And so for me, the whale is about um, the medicine of the whale. So whales are big swimming libraries, right? Like they've been around forever and ever. 
and they're just like, they're in no hurry. You know, they are very, they can be very docile, but like nobody bothers them, but they also use their throat and their music, uh, music as healing, right? They have healing vibrations. And so for, for me, like using my voice also is medicine. So I encourage you to use your voice in any way and, and using your voices can be also on the page or on the canvas. Okay. So I'm using just like a few different colors of green today and I have all different kinds of paint. So this one here, I'm using this blue shade of a, a golden fluid acrylic. And um, I'm also using this other one, which is just another type of acrylic, which is called sap green. But again, you don't have to use any of these colors. You can, if you want, but basically just grab like three or four different colors that just are saying, hey, pick me today. Um, and then I'm just using just a white and then just another green here. Cause those are the ones that just called to me today. And then, you know, take, take a few minutes to kind of just feel your canvas and kind of just connect with it and, and go like, what do you want to tell me today? Like, what do I need to hear? And get yourself set up in, um, in your seating area, whatever you need, and then we'll get painting in a minute. But while people are doing that, I'm going to pull us a medicine card for everyone, just to see if there's a message that I can share that uh, might resonate with you. And uh, if you are interested, as we get to the painting a bit, um, um, if there's a way I can do it, I'm not sure I, that maybe I can pull people individual cards um, in the chat or something. I'm not sure if that's possible, but so basically when I do this too, I center myself and, and sometimes I say it out loud, but I say like creator, um, please give me a message that needs to be shared with the group today. And a few things already fell on the ground. So I'm probably going to pick those ones up. So let me just see. Ooh, this one's beautiful. Okay, so this one fell on the ground and it's a swan. So I might just leave that right here for a second. And the other one that fell out was turkey. So these are beautiful. So first off, turkey is about, about giveaways. So in our culture, like at uh, powwows, we have powwows which are partially celebrations, but also um, you know, uh, uh, ceremonies where we come together and we heal through dancing and through song and things like that. And uh, giveaways are something that, you know, everyone that comes there gets something. And it's not like you have to pay or anything like that. It's just like everyone gets something in the community. So this might be something that um, we need to hear that, you know, a gift can be as simple as this workshop it can be as simple as giving yourself, you know, 20 minutes in the morning just to like clear your mind and journal and whatever that looks like. And then the other one is swan, which is about grace. And uh, we know, we know the story of the swan, right? The ugly duckling, and then actually turns out to be a swan. So this is actually resonating with me for this workshop to go like, don't judge your work as being ugly or pretty or whatever. Just look at it and go, what is it trying to tell me? And if you get a sense and you're like, oh, that's so gross, kind of dig in and say, what is that there that makes me feel that way? What makes me think that's gross? One of the paintings I did, I, I wrote the word ugly and I grabbed all of the ugly colors I could find. I grabbed like the browns and like the maroon, like kind of yucky maroony colors, like yucky. I was like, what does that mean? And then when I pulled out this piece it turned into this kind of like bug looking thing that it was like, well, I think it's gross and ugly but it's actually kind of cute and like, who am I to judge what a bug looks like or whatever, right? So it's again, so do that. So, oh, and what deck? I'm oh, sorry, yes. So the, I'm using this, <laughs> you can tell I'll use this. This is the very first deck I've ever had. It's called um, Animal Medicine Cards. And uh, it is by, I'll just put, maybe I'll, I'll put it in the chat after, but I don't know if you guys can see that, if that's the right way or not. But uh, it's Medicine Cards by Jamie Sams and uh, David Carlson. Okay, so as you're getting connected to your um, space and getting yourself grounded, I'm going to read the message of the swan and of the turkey, and then we'll get painting. So choose your colors as you're feeling this and listening. <clears throat> so the swan. Swan, the power of woman entering sacred space, touching fu future yet to come, bringing internal grace. So if you pulled swan, it ushers a time of altered states of awareness and developing, 
development in your intuitive abilities. Swan medicine people have the ability to see the future, to surrender to the power of the great spirit, and to accept the healing and transformation of their lives. The swan card is telling you to accept your ability to know what lies ahead. If you're resisting your self-transformation, relax. It will get easier if you go with the flow. Stop denying that you know who's calling when the phone rings. Pay attention to your hunches and your gut knowledge and know that your intuitive side is right. That's a really beautiful card. So, you know, if, again, if you feel like you're like, oh, I just, someone, I know I've been thinking about someone and they got a hold of me or like all of that kind of stuff. Or, you know, maybe if you'll see a swan later today, a picture of a swan somewhere, or you'll see a video of a swan, something random, and you'll go, oh, that's just confirmation of what I learned earlier today. And then the other message, again, like I said, is about the turkey. And we think about when we have like Thanksgiving, that kind of thing, there's always a turkey or, you know, that kind of stuff. So we are going to start painting right after this. This is the thing where we're talking about, it's about the process and not about uh, the product, right? That's why this is a different process. It's about going inward and starting to ground yourself and realize what it's for. So for the turkey, this means this gift today you could get is spiritual, material, or even intellectual. The gift may be great or small, but it's never insignificant. So congratulations. So you might have the gift of a beautiful sunset or the smell of a fragrant flower. On the other hand, you may feel the spirit of giving growing within you and wanting to share with others. All right. So you have your paints, get them ready. So what I like to do before I start is put my hands on the canvas. And again, like I said, connect with the paint and ask what it wants to tell me today. And I'm going to spray it just with some water, just because I'm going to do a bit of a, you know, just to see what comes up. And I'm going to grab my paint, which I have all set up. And I'm going to grab whatever brush called to me first, which was this one. I have a variety of brushes and I'm just going to get it wet. And I wanted to make a point that you can choose whatever colors you feel can yep. help you. I would suggest three to five, if anything. So what I'm going to do, and if this calls to you, you can do this, is write a word that you feel like you want to reflect on or something that came up in the meditation that you were listening to, right? So what I said earlier, I wanted to focus on growth. So I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to turn up a bit of um, music that I play in the background, which is um, has healing um, energies to it and sends positive energy. So as you go through, just start grabbing whatever colors. So for me, like, I'm just going to start doing this because this is all that I'm thinking about right now doing. Um, I'm going to grab another green. It's a little bit darker. It doesn't really look too much like it. But I'm just going, what does my arm want to do? What does, you know, what, what colors want to come out here? So just start grabbing anything you want. This looks like a mishmash of things, but that's kind of what the energy of maybe growth feels like sometimes, right? So I'll kind of narrate as I go, but like when I'm doing this, I'm going, what is this? Like, what does growth mean? And to me, this looks like a bunch of maybe weeds or it looks like an overgrown garden, right? It's almost like there's too much growth happening here. Like, why, why is this going on here? So it's about trimming things down for me right? That's the message I'm getting right now for that. Because I'm using like a fluid acrylic, it's kind of fun because I'll spray it again and I'll just see if like anything drips down. So if you do that, or if it's something that speaks to you, do that. And I kind of will sit there and just look at it. And as I'm looking here, it may be harder to see, but I'm sort of seeing like trees come out of this. And because it's kind of wet, I want to touch it. I want to go like, what does that feel like? And it helps me get connected also to the painting, right? And now I have a lot of greens, but all of a sudden I'm feeling like I want to add like a red or something or an orange. So it's okay to just grab whatever. And I know this might seem like strange because it's not quite what people maybe are used to doing, but that's the 
the beauty of it is not judging it and going, okay, I'm going to do that a bit. I kind of like that red in there. I also like the way this sounds, right? It's, it's about getting in your senses and letting your body just sort of do whatever. I find a lot in my work, there's a lot of circles and imagery that come up that way because I feel like it relates to me as the circle of life. I don't know if people are connected to like chakras or if they follow that kind of stuff, but sometimes like I think about chakras, like I think about the balancing of things in our lives. A lot of eye imagery comes up for me in my work, which I feel is coming today. So as you're going through, kind of just see what's coming up for you. Like, is there an image that wants to come out? Are you trying to force something that maybe isn't there? Are you trying to make it look like something Try to just let it be and just whatever comes up, which is not easy because we have an inner critic, we have an ego, we have expectations of what we want. I remember I started doing this practice with my daughter who is 11 and we got her all set up and she really wanted to do sort of like an online tutorial to make something look like a sunset or whatever. And I, I tried to encourage her to do just painting like this. I said, well, think about a sunset and grab whatever colors think remind you of a sunset. I'm gonna kind of turn this a little bit. And um, anyway, so she was like, no, I want it to look like that. And so I think that's also something in our lives we need to think about is expectations. And this is something I've been working through a lot lately about having expectations of myself, having expectations of people. And we have to remember everybody's on a healing journey. We're all doing our own, we're doing the best we can with what we have, especially at this time of COVID, right? Giving ourselves permission to feel, to go, well, I think this piece looks gross. Well, why, what does gross mean? Why would I say that? What's making me say those things to myself? Would I let someone else say that about my piece? Right? So think about your inner critic, about doing a bit of that work. And if you're working through this and you go, this is stupid, I don't wanna do this, then journal about that. Why are you feeling that way? Why do you think this is stupid? Are you, is that you trying to protect your ego self that you're not really ready to do that work? That's okay, there's no judgment there. But kind of sit in that and think about why you th you're thinking that, right? Another piece I would say then is like, what parts are you really loving about your piece so far? What colors are making you feel good? Is that what you wanted from this? Did you want to feel good? Think about your word that you were thinking about or the question you wanted answered. So for me, I asked about growth, right? I've been thinking about growth. I see an eye. This is the best way to show this. It's not working the best, my apologies. I kind of see an eye that's open and I see an eye that's closed. This is what I'm seeing so far for growth. So what do I need to know in my life about growing, right? Like first it kind of seemed like a mishmash of things. I'm actually gonna grab a new brush and I feel like I wanna add maybe some yellow to this. So for me, eye imagery, I mean, as we all think, it's about knowing, it's about seeing, it's about being open to see something. And for me, my growth right now is blocked. I'm not seeing something. One eye is seeing something. This eye is seeing really good maybe, or maybe not. What do we think a red eye is about? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not seeing things in a healthy way. Maybe. But that's the piece where it's like, I'm not judging that. The piece isn't really done, but it's as I'm going through, I'm having these reflections. And sometimes I might stop and I might journal on it and go, what does that mean to be blocked in that vision? 
And, you know, that's my feminine side, right? Female side, male side. So in this side, my feminine intuition maybe has been blocked lately, right? I haven't been seeing that. So I haven't been growing. And my male side has been angry, has been seeing red, and I feel that that's been happening in my life, right? And, and, and this is the part where you're, you're giving yourself a gift to go in to heal something that you might need to heal. So I just grabbed another brush. Again, doesn't matter. I grabbed just this. Again, I would say this would be one of my maroony yellow colors that when I did my sort of quote unquote ugly piece, that it was something that I was called to put in here. And as you're grabbing colors, think about what those colors mean to you in your life. Like, is there a certain memory or a certain place that you think about for that color? Don't be afraid to mix things up. Again, pretty soon I feel like I want to get my fingers in this, start moving it around and just go like, well, what needs to... How do I unblock this? This could be something that I start thinking about, right? As I'm painting as well. How do I unblock this? Ooh, that yellow. So yellow to me is about the sun, right? It's about being confident. It's about, I don't know, like it's almost a goldish color I chose, even though when I think I thought about it, I thought it was like sort of this ugly color. But as we put it on here, I'm going, maybe to open that eye up to get unblocked to unblock that side of my intuition i've got to focus on the sun again i've got to focus on those good things in my life right i need to focus on all of the good stuff that's happened to me instead of focusing on the not so great things and when we're doing this process it's about us trying to be in the moment and not going what is this going to look like at the end or like what am I going to do with this later, right? It's not about that. It's about the inner dialogue. It's about the, the heart opening. It's about, again, giving yourself permission to, to do this because you are worth this work. Like it is work and it does bring up things that are not feeling that great, right? But during COVID, a lot of things come up for people. So I want to get some blue in here. It also kind of, to me, in some ways, I'm looking at it, kind of reminds me of Oscar the Grouch, which has been totally where I've been at lately. So that's also telling me to, to grow. I've got to like get out of that energy, right? Again, no judgment there. You kind of have to laugh at it because we all have good days and bad days. And uh, if we were judged, we judged everyone on our worst days. Holy man. I don't know, right? I don't want to be judged on my worst day. I won't want to judge other people on their worst days too. And we are all going through some pretty rough stuff right now. So giving each other compassion is really important. I love blues. Blues I put a lot in my work because um, it's just very calming. Blue to me also rep represents like throat center, water. So to me, this is like also telling me kind of go with the flow to get growth again it kind of back to the swan we were talking about earlier like just going with the flow not trying to control things so much just letting it happen so i really want to put some orange in here yeah that's a lot okay so in a minute, um, I'm going to give take a break from this and kind of just check in on the comments and see how people are doing and if they have, if there's emotions coming up or if anyone needs like some space, you know, just to chat on the side, um, we'll do that. I love putting my fingers in paint. I love feeling that. I think, again, it goes kind of back to that inner child stuff where giving ourselves permission to play and have fun and just be silly and not like worry. Like when a kid does a painting or something, they're not like, where am I going to hang this up in my house? <laughs> Who am I going to give this to as a gift? Well, maybe they do sometimes, but usually they're just doing it because it's fun, right? They just want it done. They just want to play and have fun. So now I grab just some white on my fingers. I like that. 
Oscar the Grouch. I like that one too. That's a funny one. It's almost like kind of teasing me for being such a grouch. Down here, it feels very much like, again, like water. Like this orange is like, you know, in some ways on this side, it feels a bit like tainted, dirty water. Like it's like, you gotta let that go, right? Um, but in some ways, this is a really, really nice, like there's opportunities that will grow from this, right? Growth, like that's very much about what I've been talking about. Circle of life that's coming to me too. Definitely seeing red, going with the flow. Sprout, this kind of reminds me of autumn a bit maybe this color spring autumn some kind of season with growth in it growth or harvest maybe some one more thing i got to do here and then i'm going to check the box there and see how things are going As things come up for you too, feel free to just write in a journal or just write down words or images or, and sometimes you can look up on the internet after, just go like, like for me, I, you know, before when I first started this, I would do a lot of, okay, well, what does, say in a dream or the symbolism of, of a red eye, what does that mean? I would maybe look that up or like, what is the symbolism of a golden ring, right? Eternal, something unbreakable reminding myself that my intuition actually is unbreakable and I just have to open my eyes and remember that it's there which I've kind of done throughout this work right like so again it's about the process it's not about the final product although lots of times I do really like the final product and I reflect on the messages that have come in from that later on Yeah, I feel that's all right. So give me one second. I'm just going to wash my hands. That's the fun part about putting your hands in paint. Um, but continue what you're up to. And I'm going to check on the chat in a second. And again, I'm really conscious of the time, but you keep playing and doing what you need to do. And then we will uh, see what we need to address. And while she does that, I guess I'm going to share. I didn't think I was going to paint today. Um, but intuitively, I guess in alignment with Crystal and her storytelling and meditating, I picked up five colors that belong to my friend's paint line. And I'm sure she'll seek solace in this and you guys too. Is the colors are Enchanted Echinacea, Goddess Ashwagandha, Divine Lavender, Sacred Sage, and Twilight Geranium. So that's what um, I started painting with. And you know, if you take a glance over, you'll see what I'm doing. And so far, I'll show you, Crystal. Sorry, I think you have me on spotlight just still. It's okay. Okay, I'm gonna it's okay. view here so you can see everyone again. So we don't have any comments right now. I think everyone's in their state of Perfect. creating, but I don't, oh, the brand, <laughs> it's Lisa Marie Holmes, um, Fusion Mineral Paint. Those are the ones that I chose. It just, I, I have so much paint here and I guess attuned to talking about you know your like colonization everything um i would i would you know she's a herbalist by trait and we created like i introduced her to the company and we created herbs herbs so i find that it's a really um you know i guess my story is it's helping in my release of anger by using these because they remind me that you know the ground provides so much so that's what you're bringing up so thank you crystal and i'll i can share the paint line with you guys yeah they do you know it she, it took her a long time to pick these names at goddess ashwagandha and, and sacred sage and at first she was concerned about sacred sage but then you're teaching individuals about what sage is or why it's used um but yeah so if anyone else wants to share a story just put your hand up and then we'll unmute you 
I would love that. I would love to see where your pieces are at or what's coming up for you if you if you feel free to share that. And just a reminder though too, it is being recorded. So if there's something that you don't want shared publicly, then what, just to give you that heads up as well. Yeah, it looks like everyone's still everyone's going with love that. And, and just so you, you all know that, oh, oh perfect. Okay, Vivi, please share. Hi. Um, Hi. Yeah, my name is actually Vivian. I don't Vivian. know what to the last two letters there, but anyway, um, I can't see what I'm holding up here. I don't know where I went. I don't know. Can you see this? You can. Oh, there it is. So yeah. I paint in watercolors, so it's a little bit of a different experience, I think, than painting with acrylics. Um, so I started to take you very literally and paint, try to paint growth and whatnot. And then I just started to paint and I ended up with a, a fish and a bird and a lot of trees and a lot of little flowers. But mm -hmm. if there's anything I think that, that I felt that was constrained and, still and I, that, hey? I, I think that's kind of the way I'm feeling these days is a little constrained, well, very constrained. That's not, that word just came to me today, but that's certainly the way I've been feeling the last little while is basically not very free. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that sort of just kind of showed up. Beautiful. Oh. And I love that. Thank you for sharing. And I just want to say like, can you hold it up one more time, please? I love the colors that you chose. I actually love work, working with watercolor too, because it does feel that way a bit, like with the fluid acrylics. So yeah, yeah, I see your bird. It's like your bird wants to be free, right? Just wants to yes. fly. And you can see though, like, you know, all of the light inside of the bird. So you can see that you're ready to do that. You're ready to go, you know what? Look at all this down here. Look at all this kind of like, you know, growth and whatever, the, all the stuff on the bottom, but you're like, you know what? I don't need to, I can look above from above and go, what's really well, that's a good thought. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a good thought. I hadn't been thinking about that, but yeah. Yeah. yeah no, but there's I think a lot so a lot of down here that I think needs to be cleaned out. So yeah, and so anyway. and reflecting on that, what does that mean in your life? What needs to be cleared out? Thank you so much for sharing. I, I don't know, but I mean, I feel like there's a change coming, you know, because of various various things that are happening. But um, certainly things have accumulated in the last <laughs> little while, so it might be time to say uh, spring cleaning, or yes. you know, get ready for the next phase, or something like that. I don't know. Mm. anyway it's a different way of looking at things I don't think I would have ordinarily looked at this without some encouragement so thank, thank you for sure. yeah and you know what and thank yourself for giving yourself the permission to kind of go a deep deeper into that right this is not a masterpiece I know that that's okay that's but it's okay. okay and that's the purpose that's right. it's not that it's not the product at the end it's it's about the process of going wow I am constricted right now what yeah. do I need to kind of clear away like what below it's just like just get rid of that so I can yes. fly and be free right so yeah 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 thank so. you Vivian interesting so because we're gonna, call, we're Thank gonna you. call Cornelia because she yes. has hand up. So Cornelia, we're gonna put you on spotlight video just to share a little bit and let oh her let me see, ask to start video. Oh beautiful. Oh hold on, let me try and spotlight. All right. Wow, thank you so much. And if you want to share what came up for you, please do. I did write. I don't know. Did you get the message? Uh, let me see. Oh. So Cornelia is from Buffalo, New York. She picked energy. So mm -hmm. it was nice to paint without judgment, but trying to stay in that is a bit challenging. Mm -hmm. It sure is. It sure mm -hmm. is. Thank you so much. Uh, Welcome. I'm, not, I'm going to read a couple more here. Uh, Patricia is not painting right now, but she's listening and watching. She's been involved in expressive arts for years. And this is very humble and free. It really is. Mm. Um, I'll tell you, mine was release. So uh, tonight is a full moon. So I'm going to safely burn this afterwards this evening to release the um, emotions that I have pent up, mm. the COVID anger. Um, again, it just so happens that these paints happen to have like very spiritual meanings to me. So I hope that you all really enjoy this. And again, don't forget, we're going to post this on YouTube so you can go back to this and you can continue to keep painting with Crystal. 
Yeah, that's so cool. And like, yeah. And so that, and like I mentioned to you earlier, like uh, two other of my colleagues are are having it where you can do like an eight week process where you actually go through where it's not just a one hour thing where you, you take maybe one big piece or you do it several pieces over that time. So, and I'll just type, uh, I'll put the websites in here for you guys. Um, But yeah, so it's Angela Golay and uh, uh, Cynthia Louise are the two websites. So one you can do virtually like this, like on Zoom. And I'm not sure when her next or the next session will be. Um, But um, Angela also has them like you could just download the virtual stuff right away. And uh, I don't have anything like that on my website, but I do have some of my artwork for sale if someone's interested in going that and kind of seeing like you know, what messages came up for me, but also I would encourage you to look at just any pieces of artwork and any sort of creativity and kind of say, what is this trying to tell me? And I know it feels very philosophical, but, but everything's sending us messages, right? We just have to sort of be awake enough or quiet enough actually to hear those messages or to see them. So, you know, if I'm like out on a walk and I see an animal like that, you know, to me is something that I need to recognize. So if I see a squirrel running around, like a squirrel to me is about gathering and it's about, you know, preparing for winter, that kind of thing. But I asked my daughter, I said, that's the third squirrel I saw today. And she's like, squirrels to me are about having fun and playing. Don't they look like they're always having fun? And I'm like, well, then maybe that's the message I need to hear. Right. So, okay. So as I continue to chat here, does anyone else want to share? This has been so great so far. And do you want to share maybe your podcast so that if, you know, if it, yeah, a little bit of that now. Okay, someone else wanted to share, though. I thought I saw a hand up. Steve. Greetings, everyone. So this is what I've... Oh, beautiful. Let me spotlight you, Steve. Wow. Gorgeous. Wow. Steve, can you... um, Would you be... Like, and anyone who's here, like, if you take a photo of your artwork, please send it in because we would love to showcase your artwork on our social media. That is gorgeous. So tell us more about your process, Steve. So um, I've been going through a lot of um, personal transform- transformation with a focus on evolution. Um, I just retired a week ago. And so I'm embracing my freedom and um, very much looking forward to having more time for personal growth and endeavors, especially in um, spiritual areas. So this, this piece, I, the first thing that went on was the red heart and then it just sort of evolved from that. And um, yeah, so it's about personal growth and to, being open to what the future has for me. Mm, That's beautiful, thank you. And thank you so much for this opportunity. Wonderful. Okay, this this is great. Oh my gosh, yeah, I would love to see more pictures. Oh, I see, I know your name's not iPad. (laughs) What's your name, my friend? My name's Christina and um, so spirit is what came to me so there's um I mean this last two mornings with this moon I've been up at 6 30 to stare at it it's like it's like the sun it was I felt like the trees out my window were holding it it was just wonderful and I usually get up at nine so I don't know it just called me I mean I went back down and meditated and Mm. so this was just you know this is where I'm at so far and I'm really enjoying the process I love intuitive art it's been a great healing process Mm. for me I'm you know, through my journeys and um, we could go on and on, but I won't because others I'm sure want to share, but thank you so much. I really, I mean, I burnt my own smudge and lit mm-hmm. my candle even before we started. So it's very important to me as part of my, and I haven't been in my space for a while through winter. I've spent a lot of time at the kitchen table doing more, um, just more mandala work and just more focus work. So it was wonderful. I was so excited today just to just be able just to paint. So thank you very much. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. And it is a great healing process. Mm. I can recommend art therapy to everyone. So yeah. and intuitive art is wonderful. And I loved how you used the medicine cards. It was just really nice. Mm. Thank you so much, Crystal. You're welcome. Thank you for joining us. 
And thank you for sharing. Oh, I see someone else wants to share. Lisa. Yeah, hi. I'm a social worker and I was thinking of, of, um, hmm. get that on there. You know, I was uh, more thinking of, um, of, of being outside and being relaxed and, hmm. I can I can feel myself in that in that photo in that spot like very calm. Oh wow! I think you're. Can you? Yeah. Can you try and put it closer to the screen, Lisa? Oh my! You just did that. Yeah. Amazing. That is amazing. And again, I'm thinking of when she was reading the cards. Oh wow! Uh, and you know that is so beautiful and stunning. All everyone who's sharing again, please please take a picture and share this with us. And um, I can, I will, what I'll do is I'll send everyone the email address and you can share your story that can be a compilation for, for border crossings. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. You're very talented. Oh, thank you. Glad you joined us. It was very enjoyable, <laughs> relaxing. That's what it told me to paint. That's uh Candace said. <laughs> Honestly, uh, that's a, I don't, I don't know if you paint professionally on top of what you do for a living, but I think you need to uh, keep doing that. <laughs> okay, Crystal. Okay. Oh, uh, Paula, did you want to go? You're on mute. Did you want to unmute? Hold on. Can I unmute her? Oh, I don't know. There you go. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I think what's happening here is I actually feel a lot of confusion and, and I think I'm feeling I'm coping. Mm -hmm. I think that's really the, the, what's happening to me right now. So I think what's happening here, you were talking growth. So there were a lot of spirals and kind of, kind of like a growth thing. So maybe I'm just taking from you, but personally, I feel very tight. It's this whole masking in a way, you know, yeah. and it's like, I'm, you know, I do printmaking and I haven't been able to do printmaking for a while. So it's just like, I know that's what we're going through right now in the pandemic that it, like you're, it's good to keep doing these activities, but I feel a little blocked, I think. So mm. I think that's what's happening in, in here, this, uh, but it's really great to do these things. And so I'm still trying to keep doing this, you know, with other, I've been doing some watercolor and collage and stuff. And it's all, it's all helping, I think, to get through this period of time, but I know it's going to be better. I know we're going to, you know, we're going to come out of this strong and everything, but it's just right now, I'm kind of blocked. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's so gorgeous. And what a beautiful insight that you have, right? To be able to go, that's what I feel. I feel constricted. And I, I mean, I think that might resonate with a lot of us. We're constricted. We're in our homes. We're restricted, right? So mm -hmm. giving yourself just to go like, I'm grabbing these things. Yep. That's, I'm just letting it out. So I'm hoping that you're able to feel a little bit lighter from the start, just feeling, be able to say, to name it almost right like well i think that's what's really interesting for me is when you started the, with the discussion i thought i don't i don't know you know i'm not coming up with any words nothing's happening and then doing the actual stroking with just a really big uh, brush you know just putting stuff down all of a sudden it came to me oh my gosh like i'm really tight i'm really closed off completely. so um it's a, it's been a really it's really interesting and this is only an hour thing, you know, but yeah. that's what it can pull out, which I think is fantastic. Really. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. We're getting close to the end. I see someone else wants to share too, Diane. Gorgeous. Love the colors. I think you might be muted, Diane. I'm sorry. Can you unmute her, Jen? Yeah, I'm trying to unmute her. Oh, there you go, Dan. Okay, now tell us. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Start again. <laughs> so this is what I ended up with. Yeah. Um, and uh, I started out with the word love, not because I was feeling it, it's because I wanted more of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, I, I don't know what it means, but um, I enjoyed using no which is a color I don't usually use. And, um, and then I had this neat brush that I never used before. So I had yes. fun 
drawing on the paper with that. Um, so I don't know, I guess more to come. I love that. But I think again, great, great insight to know what you want to draw into your life and then giving yourself permission to just go, I've never used this brush before. I don't ever use this color and just trying something new because that's actually big medicine for me and going like nothing changes if nothing changes, right? Like you'll always get the same product. If you use the same paint, if you use the same brush, if you use the same, whatever. So, so thank you for giving my, me that reminder. So, so, so beautiful. Um, anyone else want to share maybe one last one before the end here? And I'm happy to stay on longer and chat and whatever needs to happen here too. Oh, I see. Uh, is it, is it Marcy or Marca, Marcia? I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. I think Marika. Marika, thank you. Let me see. I'm going to try and unmute you so you can share your story. Can you unmute? Oh, there we go. You are unmuted. All right. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Right. I started with the word free mm. and then I turned it upside down. I painted it this way <laughs> I and then it. I turned it upside down and uh, yeah, my body and, you know, lots of red. Mm. I don't usually use red. It's not a color I'm drawn to. Um, yeah, it's very liberating. Mm. <laughs> I love that. And I love that you, and how freeing was that, right? Actually going, flipping it around and going, yeah. and I'm not, I don't want it that way. And I'm going to grab this. Like, yeah, it's yeah. Really liberating. Like just going, yeah, who cares? Right. Like just having mm. fun. Right. That's, mm. and that's the purpose of it is being right in the moment and going, not going, what is this going to look like? What am I going to do with it? How is it going to be just going? Let's just do this. Let's flip it down. Let's, right? I love that. Thank you so much. What a beautiful uh, way to end off here. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. But I'm going to, before Crystal finishes, she will stay a little bit longer. But if you have to, in order to honor your time, if you have to drop off, uh, what I would love is, is everyone who created um, a painting, put it up. I'm going to take a screen grab because I want to put this, in case you don't send it to me, I want to put this on social media somehow, please. All right. Oh, beautiful. Wow. Web. Oh, I love the web down there. Look at this and so beautiful. beautiful. Okay, and just hold it on. I will let you know. Keep holding it up. I love it. Okay, hold on. There's so many of you. I have to keep scrolling. Okay, I have it. Wow. Okay, hold on. One more. Beautiful. Keep holding, keep holding. Keep holding, keep holding. <laughs> Let me have to move the closed captioning. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Thank you. And it says, uh, Janine uh, said, what an inspiration I received from all of you. Thank you for being oh, here. Yes, me too. Thank you for sharing all of that. Oh my goodness. So yeah, like, and so I can think also, Jen, you mentioned earlier, like I'll stick, I'll stick around for a minute, but thank, thank you for everyone for joining. And if my you have- granddaughter is here and she joined okay oh, beautiful beautiful yeah you know we can crystal can stay on for a couple more minutes if you have to drop off we look forward to hearing from you with uh, photos of your paintings and your stories of how this workshop helped you help you from how you felt an hour ago to how you feel now and we do have other workshops ahead we have watercolor painting we have storytelling we have how to use an uh, take photography using your your cellular device so many things that the border crossings project um is offering oh yes and, yes oh, sorry i was going to say and i'll also be doing one next month about uh intro to podcasting which also yeah so and, to, yeah yeah and again the border crossing project is generally funded by the ontario Chilean foundation through the Bill grant of the ontario arts council and the city of mississauga cultural division so thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Um, okay, if you have to drop off, thank you for letting us be a part of your day. And happy full moon. Yes, you do. Happy full moon, everybody. Burn it, let it go. <laughs> so I, I wanted to say that I did this with my granddaughter today. So this was hers and we didn't have paint. So we were using lots of different colored markers. So this was Beta's, she's seven and she started out with the word love. Nice. It's beautiful. And I started out with caring and that's mine. Mm, gorgeous. To me, I thought that looked like a spider web and spider webs are so beautiful. And think about how 
intuitive a spider is, right? Like she, she makes her web. She is mm-hmm. the one that feels everything. She knows when things are coming. She's like, yeah, it's so beautiful. And here's, here's Beta who, who did it with me and thank she really you enjoyed so it. Much. Oh, thank you so much. Your piece is so beautiful. Keep making artwork, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, yeah. this is- that concludes our session. So if you want to drop off, thank you. If you have any questions for Crystal, maybe more about her podcast, which we will I follow think up I on that. I didn't even mention that, actually. You but... didn't even mention it, but anything else? I, <laughs> I see Linda here, and, and Linda might have a few words to say. She is part of the Border Crossings Project, and she is also attuned and in line with her energy. So if you want to share anything, Linda, it'd be fantastic. <laughs> well, it was actually, I really enjoyed it myself. I I, I am not a painter. I'm a musician, um, and among a million other things. Um, I chose a card, and my card was a lion, and the lion wa- represented courage. And the interesting thing was, um, it says, "Ask for what you want," mm-hmm. and so because it's very, it's very easy to know what you want and go why doesn't everybody else know what I want without you actually saying what you want um, but my piece ended up uh, so I using that and and also where I'm at in uh, my spiritual development um, I'm at, I'm also trying to raise my vibration which I thought was really interesting being a musician I, I did not put that together at all when I started so uh, I started out with the words vibration rising at the bottom of my piece, um, I used brown, and I didn't realize, but it was the, the spikes of the frequency of sound. And uh, I ended up putting musical notes in the, in the, the, the side. And then this snake-like thing um, uh, ended up being like a kundalini rising, starting with my root chakra, working my way up. I even cut out a little piece of white paper because I didn't have any white paints. This is watercolor. And I put a little arrow there just showing I'm trying to rise up to the, the, the light, the universal light. And a and because the lion courage power, I put my chakra power symbol in the corner um, just to kind of represent that power. So but it was it was it was an interesting way of seeing how I, I and in the heart, the heart. Oh, geez. Wait a minute. I got a cat coming down. There we go. There we go. Um, I didn't want her jumping in on all the water. Uh, uh, yeah, the heart, the heart symbol, knowing that um, our soul, our spirit, who we are, um, our intuition, everything comes from the heart. And um, so that was the center of my piece, a giant, a giant heart to remind me to work more and not to be afraid of coming from my heart center, my heart space, and to get out of my head because my day-to-day job requires me to be in my head a lot um, because a lot of people don't understand the, using your heart center. And uh, it becomes woo-woo and crazy. And you know, then you start questioning yourself being a professional out in the community and yet still trying to bring that spiritual side to the table. and. Um, I guess the older I get, the more it's, um, I don't care. I don't care. I mean, people say I'm crazy. I don't care anymore. Um, you know, you know, I'm, I'm, you, know I, you know, if it's okay, I, it's at that point now where, okay, I'm working with my wisdom. You're working with your wisdom. It may be different. So just respect that and keep going on. So anyway, that's where that's where I'm going. Jen and I have a lot of fun in our project and I've got a great team that we're working on. And these sort of stories that I'm hearing today are so important and and are part of the a part of the bigger picture, especially now when I personally believe that the pandemic has been the universe hitting us over the head and said, guys, time out. You guys are, are, are going off in a wrong direction. I'm giving you the time out to be able to sit back and think about who you are, where you are, where you want to be, and how can you work together as a, a, a global team to make that happen. So um, the Border Crossings um, project is uh, near and dear to my heart. And, uh, and so we're trying to get that, that message out there, you know. So thank you so much, Crystal, for for you sharing, because uh, that's very brave and courageous. 
<laughs> like the lion. Yes, I love. I saw that it was like yeah, and that was trying to be like yellow lion. Like it's like yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and and, and to respect everybody's journey because it's it's different for everyone. Um, we're all on a journey, and uh, and there's no right or wrong. It just is. Right. And like you said, it, it, and, and then what also came to me is like, if true, so what? Right. right. So like, if yeah. that's what it is, it is what it is. Right. So it goes yes. back to expectations. Right. So yeah. not having those expectations, seeing things as the truth of mm -hmm. what it is. And, and like, yeah, yeah, it's like, and like you say, it's a journey and not so much the destination because the, the learning, you know, you never fail. It's just a learning. And so um, it takes you to the next um, uh, exciting and sometimes scary um, experience that helps you on your your journey up the up the, the ladder to uh, um, to be the best that you possibly can be. Right. Thank you. Yeah. So I took my picture. I'll send that in, Jen. <laughs> better. All right. No, I'm gonna get and go uh, talk about getting in trouble. <laughs> That's yes. what he wants. <laughs> yep. And Laura, you're still painting. We still have about 20 people. We had 50 people join us today. And oh, that's so awesome. Good. Oh. And, uh, you know, we're, like I said, the border crossing team, Lin Linda, myself, and Christina, and Anna, we are really trying to cultivate and create these beautiful workshops that can help us through these times. Because Crystal and I were discussing earlier, we're, like, you know, mental well being is just not good right now. But I want to share with you that I do feel completely better than I did before. I think maybe you can see the energy in me has lifted. Yes. So thank you. It's, you know what it is? There are 50 of us and there are now 20. And so all the energy that everyone's sharing is lifting everyone up as a community. Mm -hmm. So keep joining us guys for these workshops because some don't get this, this deep, um, <laughs> but we do have others that talk about mindfulness and, and art that are upcoming so yeah then i think we might do this again a little later on as uh, down the down the road a bit and and uh have a an encore performance by crystal i think because i'd be i would be, be awesome. honored yeah. i'd be honored yeah and All thank right. you again for everyone that joined I, I mean people are still here i guess people have questions still or like <laughs> laura you have a question I'm okay. I'm new here, so I just uh, I'm. I'd like to see exactly what happened. Uh, hi. <laughs> oh, Laurie, hold on, hold on. All right, Laurie, hold on. I'm just trying to. Add yeah, can you see me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think I have you. There we go. So uh, I'm a novice here, and uh, I. Uh, discovered you today i register and here i am so <laughs> it was meant to be it was meant to be yeah yeah thank you for joining us and did you want to share your piece Lori? sorry did you want to share like your process or piece or you just wanted to share that that's fine too um i didn't know that we have to share something today no. No, you don't have to. I was just wondering, but uh, yeah, thank you so much. I'm really glad you joined us. <laughs> but um, I, I hope there will be um, next day, next times. <laughs> and so then I will share with you what I'm doing. Okay. You're already Absolutely. sharing your smile with us. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I really like your um, uh, energy <laughs> already. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. And Laura, you had your hand up there still? Sorry, say it again. Sorry, Laura. Ah, Laura. sorry. Yeah. Thank you, Lori. All right, Laura, I'm gonna spotlight video you. Oh. You're on mute. Did you, oh, your hand was up. Do you wanna share? You're continuing to yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah, yeah. come with us. <laughs> so it's interesting to me how many of us talked about being constrained. Um, I'm, I've, my husband and I have rented a cabin for the weekend and we just got here and put up our um, computers. Anyway, I've had COVID and back issues. So I have been in my house for six months um, mm -hmm. and this is the first time out. So the first thing I did, I thought it was really funny. I needed to like 
put a border around my paper. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> contain it. <laughs> like, and recreate the box I've been living in. <laughs> what good insight, I love it. And the, the word I wrote was open because I've been feeling so closed down. Um, so then I, I, I've also been afraid that I'm going to explode all over everybody. Okay. So I put my border down and then I exploded. <laughs> I know, I was just going to say you did explode, yeah. I and love it. <laughs> Beautiful, yes. So it looks it's like, like a message to, to myself. I always, think, I always see eyes, but yeah, it looks like an eye to me. Or was yeah. it a flower too? Like it's yeah. fireworks. I, I wanted to put dark around the outside because you know, it feels dark, but if I open up a little and maybe even if I explode, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If true, so what, right? It's all yeah, good. Yeah. good. So thank you. I mean, I just happened to cross this workshop. We're in Wisconsin. Wow. Um, oh, so cool. <laughs> thank you for joining thank us. You. So interesting. Yeah. Again, yeah. it was meant to be. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Well, so you know, I'll be watching for more workshops. Yes. You know what? If you follow on Eventbrite, I think you can follow the Art Gallery of Mississauga because we have workshops every Saturday for the next two months. Wonderful. Yeah. And so we would love to see you again. And thank you for letting us come into your cabin. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Laura. Thank you. All right. I think, uh, I think that's... I love that there's still about 17 people here, but if you have any final, if you have any final words for now, um, please, please share. I just want to say I really enjoyed it. I was busy oh. working. <laughs> I got into the painting and had fun. Feel better. Thank you okay. for sharing your story. Okay. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you for Myra. joining us. Jen, do we want to share where people can, what the email is where people can actually share their their story and their their painting i did earlier but what i'm going to do is send an email all right perfect I'll email for everyone with uh, with all of the uh crystal will send me all the links that you want me to yeah to share with everyone uh because i also did share the link for the deck that you have no, from, I, so, yeah 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 so we'll just do that to everyone and crystal any final words yeah, I just want to say thank you so much, Chimi Gwitch. And uh, it's just been a real pleasure. Um, it's it's more than I thought it would be. And I feel so, so full after this, you know, and I think, you know, about mental wellness and things like it's so important that we do share these types of things and 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 ways that we can heal together that's positive and bringing people together as community. So uh, and like I mentioned, you can uh, follow me. Well, I didn't mention this, but on social media at Zhangwei Benise Kue, but you can just search for like Crystal Hardy, Zhangwei Benise Kue, and you'll find me all over the place. And my website is also Welcome to Z's Place because I have a radio show and a podcast. And uh, so my podcast is called Under the Same Stars. So I, I talk to people who are um, change makers in their community and bringing people together. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's free on like Spotify and, and like that kind of thing. Um, and uh, I host a weekly radio show here in Thunder Bay that's called Z's Place. So I'm featuring Indigenous and non-Indigenous musicians along the same vein where it's social change, like through music and through storytelling. So I just, uh, yeah, I'm really grateful to be here. And I really hope that this practice helped people and like it's something you might want to continue with any, anything. Like I said, crayons, I use that every day. So thank you again. Chief. Thank you. And again, we'll email all the information to you. Everyone have a wonderful day. It is a full moon, so if you're into that, light it up and let it go safely. <laughs> safely. Thank you. All right. Good night. Good day. Thank <laughs> you, everyone. Thanks, Bye. Steve. Thank Bye. You. Thanks, Steve. Join us every week, Steve. I plan to. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye.